state police. Every time they'd come by, go here in the Franklin Park, they'd come by and have some plows to give me. I'd put them on my car. So they see me on the highway anywhere, they know it was me. Driving that car, because I was the only man be on the highway with plows on my car. Because I, I'm you always in them shops I go to buy some oil or some decoration. They'd give me something extra. I don't know why, because I, I drove a different car than anybody else, but everybody come out of the office and stand there and look at that car. I gave the man $30, and they had to cut it all up for a piece of tin, stainless steel. Show me. I waited about an hour and a half, paint kind of dry in the boys. Then I come and set my houses, uh, eat uh, big fences, uh, uh, shape of a of an animal. I paint him, he don't take so good, want to run. I sit and wait a while, and that paint dries. See, but you do regular house paint. See, when you use regular house paint, it has to be careful, that board's got to be perfect, so the paint will set that. If he ain't got it perfect, so it's set that, he'll run. Because when you look at it, the paint's running. Oh, run all over your board. If you go off in a hurry, don't know be in no hurry when you paint. Always take your time, see your board dead level before you move. And don't stop fool around for that paint run. Just watch that paint. When you're painting this, you watch that paint. When you're over here painting, watch on this side of the board, see if it's running over there against that other paint. If it's running, you stop. Don't move no more. See, my paint never breaks. They put on there with a stick, take a stick, just trim out a stick, so it's limber, dip it down in the paint. Pay one brush. He brought me, my manager buy me uh, seven, eight brushes. I ain't gonna use one brush. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I just wipe it off and put it in another, uh, in red, blue, purple, uh, green, or yellow. I wipe my brush off and mix my paint up. See, put that, put right on that same, you that same brush. But I paint so I get sleepy. You sometimes three o'clock. Then I lay down there and uh, dream a while, dream about different things. Then I wake up. I ain't going back to sleep. Wake up, I jump up and think about what I forgot to put in that, like I'm drawing a tree, a graveyard, a fence or something. I didn't put that fence over that point up. I better get up and straighten that fence out while I'm laying here. Because tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll be on another paint board. No artist in the world do this but William Hawkins. Which, which you know how to do. You don't need to go nobody to tell you how to draw this and draw that. I don't know what you call it. I'd call him a half hippo palm for the line loss. After you get him finished up, but that's when you start something. You can turn him in a horse or a dog, or a lion also. And put some horns out there on it. Let me raise that up so I can take the picture. You run, run his head out there, front up, put horns on it. 
what you can do to him, you make a, you make a, uh, a better goat out of it. With horns, run out on his, make them horns come curve out there on it. And put a, some goat teeth down here, whisk it down here, be a better goat. <laughs> oh, Lord, you take, uh, then you turn around and make a big pine horse of it. Take some old paint, paint down there, make his hip come, make his shoulder come down a little fuller, make his hips come out there, then run his tail, make his tail all bushy out there, make his legs sitting out there, make him a horse, make a horse out of it. Make a billy goat, a horse, a rhinoceros. Yeah, I can turn that thing into anything I want to. But he don't see no way out. He had to have a book or something to go by. That's what I took in my knowledge. See, anything you gifted in anything, it come to you, tell you, make so-and-so and so-and-so. Make his head down a little fuller, put some horns on, make a rhinoceros out of him. Well, but you had to make your background more larger. And this out here, this black, this black here, bring it way out here, and all the way down there, enough to, for a border to go on there. And let a storm come, it'll worry you. You know it's trouble. When that sky gets black back there, and the cloud gets black and thunder and lightning, he go to one and then. One will turn around and look at me. Say, that old man's crazy. But that time the wind had come and poked down the street and just blowing her clothes and she all up against the building all down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pay no newspaper. Anything. They paper and turn back back I get you have seven dollars for that picture there. One these days you'll have that hanging in your art gallery. I ain't gonna put John Wayne on that. Leave him all. And I put them mountains there and them other, them other cities and look like way, way somewhere. And the state courts and them pretty horses there. And them calps out in Arizona. That's Arizona territory. See all them cattle weeds and all them uh, ground grass. Now that kind of stuff go around my home. Doing away with that now. Doing away with that tail like that. Make another kind of animal out of it. <laughs> See there, you change the picture. Make it anything you want. It. I took a saw and sawed it off. So saw, saw this bolt off and shaked it up. So when y'all come, it'd be beautiful. So you can take a picture of it. And this is going to New York. This is going right down that way, y'all. <laughs> New York. After I get it all filled out, I ain't finished. I ain't finished it. I, I, I'm, I'm on it. Start on it now. Make the sky. Now I got steady now. I'm gonna put it in brown. Already got blue up there and red and black. So it'd be like that over there. See, that's where you put it. And that paint will run together. See, he runs together and he makes make his own cell. People don't know that. that my paint will run together and make his own cell. Any way you paint, make his own cell. Some name you couldn't, couldn't pronounce them. They're so funny. When you put your name right, you try to make it. And you want me to talk something now, don't you? Uh, <clears throat> William Lawrence Hawkins. William Lawrence Hawkins. Going 18 and 95. You don't take your own. You ain't going to know what you're going to fight. Oh, boy. 
Tornado. Tornado weather coming. Can't make it look like a tornado. Old top that hole's head, he's scared to death. <laughs> he's scared. <laughs> tornado, that wild old girl in bushes. He's twice big than that. Hippopotamus, he's got a great big head, great big mouth, and a great big body. And he opened up that mouth, look like a <laughs> scoop show. <laughs> he was scoop corn in his mouth. Uh, I guess he about the uh, first or second cousin. So he's the only animal matches this. This a uh, rhinoceros. Hippopotamus rhinoceros. That must be some kin. There's another man. Got two horns. That picture there ain't got but one horn, you see. Now I've got I've got some more. I've got some more in that suitcase. Got two horns on. See the different these things? They run run with two horns. This one got a single horn. I don't know what this single horn represents. My school's in my head. She comes to me what to do.